بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ایج آف ڈرائیڈن سوری ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی ایج آف ڈرائیڈن In my first lecture, I told about the introduction of this age and uh, inshallah soon I will deliver lecture uh, Dryden as a poet and Dryden as a dramatist. Actually, <clears throat> it is the age of restoration and it is the age of Dryden and this age is called uh, age of Styre. First, we discuss age, restoration age. Actually, after the death of uh, Charles I, Puritan was ruling after the death of Charles I. and Charles II was exiled by the Puritan and he went in France he lived in France during his exile but in 1660 Charles II was come again in England and he became the ruler of England it was the time of uh, establishment of monarchy monarchy restored Again, monarchy was in the England and the monarch became the ruler of England. This is why we say that this age is the age, restoration age. And this age is called Dryden age because Dryden was the representative and the towering personality. He was the towering uh, poet and writer. And this age is related to Dryden. This is why this age is called age of Dryden. And this age is also called age of style because people the writer the dramatist the poet use the tool of style for criticism and the use of uh, the, the usage of uh, uh, style was common amongst the poets and dramatists. This is why this age is called age of style. Actually, when the Charles II was come in uh, England He became the ruler 
of the England. He lived in he lived in uh, France, and he read the literature of uh, the the French French literature. This why uh, he was related to the French. Uh, literature and he was very near to the French literature and he uh, selected the Gallic model for writing. Gallic model is the model of French writer and he introduced this model in England and England literature, uh, the, the England literature, the England poets uh, adopt the Gallic model. The French literature became the part of the uh, England literature. The uh, Charles II was a lusty type of uh, ruler. He liked sex and lust. He did not have any legitimate heir, yeah, but he liked sex. And he uh, he was the founder of uh, this type of uh, writing. He uh, made dramatist uh, write a uh, 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 sexual type of literature and during the age of uh, Charles II morality had demolished because during his reign there was no morality morality had died and this morality was uh, present during the uh, during the purity age and uh, religion uh, had also demolished during the age of Dryden but there are some positive steps which are uh, present during the uh, age of Dryden that Charles II promoted science. He was the founder of science. He, uh, the theater, the theaters were reborn and first time in the history female actress uh, come up and they uh, they perform their directors uh, on the stage. It credit goes to uh, Charles II. And they gave the liberty to the writers that they write literature. And the writers wrote uh, several plays uh, poems epics during the age and if we discuss we have some we have some uh, females uh, writers in this age 
for example, Afra bin. She was a great novelist, and uh, she was a great lady, and she was the first lady who wrote uh, plays and novel. Actually. Actually, in the age of Dryden, Dryden age, we uh, observed literature. We observe uh, plays, dramas, novels, and during this age. the england the the according to the england poets they did not have uh, epic uh, john milton epic paradise lost was present during this this age but according to their concept it was not a epic and fairy queen the spencer fairy queen was present also as a epic but according to their statement it is not a epic but remember a name william devenant sir william devenant he uh, wrote epic during this age uh, for example gondi bird and uh, according to their statement it was very near to to the epic and i told before that afra bin uh, a great name uh, during this age he was a great reading he wrote uh, max, uh, maximum literature several plays novel dramas and uh, so on <clears throat> the uh john dryden road uh the singh and the spencer uh, uh and uh, he wrote uh, uh some uh, other uh, plays actually john dryden youth style and he criticized the policies of uh, the uh, government and we have some uh, others poet some other poets for example william uh, wetcherly he wrote uh, Pilgrim Progress, he wrote Plain Dealer, he wrote uh, uh, Country Wife, and uh, several uh, works he wrote. But no, we I I I want to tell you what was the problem uh, was during this age. What was the problem uh, during this age? Actually, during this age, if we uh, talk about the age of Dryden, uh, the, the industrial revolution, the industrialization uh, is present this age. Industrial. industrialization and industries uh, industrialization uh promoter materialism the material outlook had come and uh industrialization is the cause of uh, material 
materialistic lie. It is my personal statement that the desire of becoming rich makes us mad. The desire of becoming rich, uh, in, in the desire of becoming rich, uh, the feudals made uh, the common people made common people mad. The they wanted money, they wanted uh, capital because first they were farmer, they were peasant but when the feudals offered them that they, uh, if they work in their uh, industries then they will give them money and the lust uh, of uh, of life and this lust and money made them mad and they started uh, work in the uh, in the factories but it was the first step of uh, people exploitation. Feudals exploited, uh, feudals uh, demolished the dreams and aspires of the people because no, they were thinking about the work and about the money and uh, the the load of the work, the abandon of the work was enough. But they were doing work, work and work for the man. It was the exploitation uh, of human beings. Industrialization uh, brought material outlook. And materialism, material life was restricted to man on earth. Material life is the cause of their exploitation. And man now is thinking about uh, about the earth. Man is thinking about the money. Now in this age, man was the subject, the social man. All the dramatists and poets wrote about the common man. The man who is on the earth, who was on the earth, the subject of the writers was man. Because now man became the social animal. His thinking, his thoughts are restricted to uh, earth. They, ha they, they had forgotten the religion, aspires, dreams, everything. If we discuss uh, the age of uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth, in this age, the people were thinking about the uh, religion, aspire, aspires, dreams, God. Now, in this age, God uh, had uh, vanished. 
No, there is no God. Believed the, uh, they, they had uh, they had no belief on God. They are thinking about the materialism. They they thinking about the uh, capital, money. Money is uh, in their discussion. This why the poet like uh, Alexander Pope, John Dryden, they criticized man. They said that man is nothing. If we, uh, 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 I would like to give the example of Alexander Pope essay on man. In this essay, uh, Alexander Pope said that uh, man is nothing. He uh, shows the degraded face of man. He says that man is wretched species. He did not have any right to talk about the God and the religion because his thinking, his thoughts are about the earthly life. In their dreams and their spires, no, there is no God, no religion, no spires, no dreams. He is thinking just about the earthly life. And this is why he says that man face is a degraded face and he is a wretched species. Man uh, had man had a, a, a lofty face but during in this time he had uh, he did not have uh, any uh, lofty face and uh, the other poets like John Dryden also criticized the people and the politics because when you are when when your discussion is all the time about the man and about the action of the man and uh, about the uh, activities of the man then definitely you will find weaknesses and uh, faults and uh, the, uh, it was the cause of uh, man decline that man was thinking about the materialism materialistic outlook impressed man uh, I heard uh, uh, I heard something from uh, from this Ishwak Eman, uh, who is a great scholar uh, he said that competition is uh, all the time bad Competition uh, makes man sinner because all the time uh, he thinks about the uh, about the competition. And during this age, uh, the, the people were thinking all the time about the competition and the materialism, materialistic life. John Locke. John Locke was also a great writer and he wrote uh, Essay on Trans uh, Toleration and uh, Tabla Rasa and he also talked about the man because the subject was man and he is also talking about the man William Wetcherly, Country Wife and uh, Plain Dealer. Plain Dealer was uh, Dealer was a sex, uh, a very 
lusty type and sexual uh, play and he is also uh, talking about the man pilgrim progress uh, pilgrim progress he he wrote Pil pilgrim progress and he is also talking about the uh, about the man man was the subject man was the topic during this age and all the uh, dramatist poets uh, criticized uh, on the on the degraded face of man the used style uh, if we discuss the uh, great uh, rape of the lord alexander pope and in in this uh, epic he is criticizing uh, man next inshallah i will deliver a lecture uh, dryden as a poet and dramatist allah subhanahu